Hello, I am Lynn Lily from Craftbox Kids and Craftbox Girls, and I'm so excited to welcome you to Crayola's channels. And guess what? I am back with another fun and easy craft. All right, so this idea came because my daughters keep wanting pets. Yep, that's right. We currently don't have any dogs, we love pets, but we can't manage anymore right now. So we got my daughter a water frog. Lives in an aquarium, easy to take care of, and she loves it. And so we're thinking about maybe getting a bigger aquarium and adding some fish to it too. So we thought this is the perfect aquarium, especially for the little kids to learn how to take care of pets yet. So we are gonna be making a cardboard snack box aquarium. Check it out. So when you finish your next snack, save the box and recycle it to make this fun craft. All right, so the other things that we're gonna need for today's project besides a cardboard snack box, this can be any size that you want. It can be a cereal box, a snack box, it could even be a shoe box if you really want it. We're going to need some construction paper. So get a variety of colors of construction paper. We're gonna need some markers. So I've got my Crayola Super Tips here, but you can also use standard Crayola markers. We're also going to be using our Project Metallic markers to add some fun details to our fish in our aquarium. And we're gonna be using glue. So I've got a glue stick and my liquid glue handy. And then if you wanna add some fun details, glitter glue is always fun. All right. So to get started, I did a couple of the steps ahead of time. Parents, this is gonna be your steps. So taking that snack box, um, this was a, a popcorn box, that those packs of popcorn that you put in the microwave come in. Um, so I took my popcorn box and I went ahead and cut out the front. You may need to glue the lid closed at the top so that it's not flapping open, but cut out a section in the front because that's gonna be the window into our aquarium. All right, now I went ahead and covered the sides of my box with construction paper. So again, all you gotta do for that is cut those pieces of construction paper, glue them to the sides of the box, and that's it. So those are some steps ahead of time, parents, that you can help the kiddos with. Now, I've got a few things cut out here, but let's go through all the details of what we're gonna put in our aquarium. I've got some light blue construction paper, and what I did was I took my box and I put it on top of a piece of construction paper and I traced it out and cut it. So this is gonna be the background of my aquarium. But before we put it in there, we're gonna add some details to it. So I'm gonna take one of my blue super tip markers and I'm going to draw some waves, right? So we're gonna have some water waves and you can decorate this however you want. You could also do some little bubbles, right? So maybe the fishies are blowing bubbles. So add some little bubbles. You could use different colors of blue. And I'm using markers, but you could also use colored pencils or crayons. Okay, now, we obviously need to have some fish in our aquarium. So pick out some colors of paper. It can be any colors that you want. And let's draw some fish. You can use a pencil or you can use a marker. I'm gonna go ahead and use a marker. And I'm just going to draw a simple fish. So it almost looks like a football. And before we close off the end, we draw a triangle shape coming out from our football. Now, if you've got younger kids, what they can do to draw this, draw the full shape of the football like that, and then have them draw the triangle that overlaps. And you have the same exact shape. And when they cut it out, they can just flip it over and they have a fish. All right, so I've got a few of my fishies already cut out. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue them. So I've got a red one, I've got an orange one, and I've got a yellow one. I'm gonna save my yellow one for right now. And I'm gonna take my orange one, and you know what, I'm gonna add some cute little details to it. So you can have fun decorating your fish. I'm gonna just outline around it, but if you wanna draw scales on it, you can. If you wanna add a fin to it, you can. You wanna add a little eyeball. And then I'm gonna do that on the red one too, and I'm just gonna use my orange marker. But you can choose to do whatever color you want. You could also use your glitter glue if you wanna make some really fun glittery fishies, you can do that as well. And then we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to glue our fish to the background, 
Okay, and it's easy if you want to do all this part first before you put the background in because once that background's in there, it's a little bit challenging to get to. So we're going to put one little fishy right here. Then we're going to take another little fishy right here. And we'll glue this fishy. This is fishy swimming a little bit more towards the top. And then once you put your fishies in, if you want to add in some more bubbles, so maybe this little fishy bloop, 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 is blowing some bubbles, okay? And then you can maybe cut out some coral. So you can pick different colors. I cut out some sheeps of some coral here. And you can glue some of these on ahead of time. And then we're gonna show you how to make some of them 3D. So I'm gonna use my glue stick and I'm gonna add some glue and I'm gonna glue this one to the background, okay? So that one is gonna be right there. All right, now I think we're ready to put our background in. So we've got our snack box that we cut the hole out of. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some glue on the back. Now, I'm gonna use my glue stick and you wanna use a lot of glue to make sure that it sticks to that cardboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over the back. And I'm gonna squeeze it in there and try and get it all the way in the corners and the edges so it lays flat. That's okay if it's a little bit wider, it can kind of go up and over. All right, so we have the back of our aquarium. I also cut out a blue piece to go on the bottom here. So I wanted to be able to see the bottom of my aquarium and I wanted it to look like it was water. So I cut that piece just by tracing the bottom of the box on a piece of construction paper to get the right size for it. So we're gonna put some glue on the back here and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna glue this right to the bottom. Okay. So now you may need to um, sit it up so that you can press down and get it to stick, okay? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna make some other fun things to go in. I've got a larger fish here that we're gonna hang from the roof of our aquarium. I've got a gold metallic, let me show you guys these project metallic markers. I love these for crafts, school projects, they're so much fun. They work great on construction paper, and just give your projects a really nice glow to them. So we're gonna do some designs with our metallic marker. This almost kind of reminds me of a koi fish. And I'm gonna go around there. And then I've also got a little fin that I cut out of the same orange construction paper. And you can get creative with what types of fish, the shapes of the fish, it's up to you. That's the fun part about these crafts. I get to inspire you and then see the fun things that you create. Okay, and I'm gonna just draw on there, doo -doo -doo, and I'm gonna do a little eye. All right, so my fish is ready. But remember I said at the beginning, we got my daughter a water frog. So we're gonna make a frog to go in our aquarium. Now, you'll need a piece of green construction paper for this, and you could choose to do dark green, light green, whatever you would like or whatever you have handy. And remember that you can get these Crayola supplies um, at any of your local craft stores. We're gonna take a pencil, and we are gonna draw what is going to be a shape of a house, okay? But we're gonna do it upside down. But I'm gonna show you a little trick. It's gonna be right side up to start. So we're gonna start with what would be the roof, of our house, okay? Which looks like a triangle, right? And then we're gonna come straight down with what would be the square part of our house, okay? And we're gonna stop right there. We can draw a little dash line here. Okay, so it looks like we've got a house. I'm gonna show you over and turn this into a cool 3D frog. So we're gonna cut out by starting at the top. We're gonna cut against the triangular part of the roof. We're gonna cut down the side walls of the house, but we're not gonna cut the bottom. We drew our dashed lines there because what we're going to do is we're gonna fold that back, okay? Just like that. And then we're gonna take our pencil and we're going to trace where we just folded. We're going to trace that shape, okay? So we want it to be the exact same. All right, so now we're gonna continue to cut. We don't cut across that dotted line, we cut down and cut that shape that we just traced. Okay, and that is gonna be the body of our frog. And so the idea is that our frog 
is going to be 3D. So you may be like, wait a second, does that look like a frog yet? Trust me, it's going to. So I've got what is going to be our legs and our arms of our frog. So I just cut out little strips of paper. And what we're going to do is we're gonna accordion fold those. And do you know why it's called an accordion fold? Because it looks like the body of an accordion. See, when you're done, whoop, 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 okay? We're gonna do that with all four. They don't have to be exactly the same, but this is going to make our frog's legs very springy. Okay, so we want them to all have a little spring so that they pop out from the body of our frog. Okay, so we've got that one and our last one. And then at the very end of it, we're gonna cut out froggy, little froggy toes. They're not gonna be webbed, but we're gonna take the very end here and we are going to cut up into a diagonal motion and cut a triangle out. And that's gonna give us little froggy toes. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be exactly the same, but we're cutting up from the corners. And this is optional. You could just keep your froggy feet straight. But if you older kids wanna have a little bit more fun with the details of this, this is a fun way to do it, okay? So I'm gonna cut up, boop. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we are going to glue on our froggy legs. Now this is gonna be the bottom part of our frog. So our frog is gonna sit up. Now you can use glue stick. I'm gonna use my liquid glue just to get a little bit more tack quickly. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of liquid glue on the end and then I'm gonna glue it inside the fold. So one leg pops out here, okay? And then we're gonna do the other, same exact thing. On the other side, we're gonna put a little dab of glue. And you could just make this froggy for fun. Doesn't even have to be for an aquarium. This could be a fun craft on its own. And then for our froggy arms, we're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna just be coming out up here, okay? And you've got a second or two to work with the liquid glue so you can adjust the um, froggy arms legs as you see fit, okay? All right, so we've got a cute little frog. That's my frog voice, you like it? <laughs> All right, so with our little froggy, we're gonna add some eyes. You can draw your eyes on, but I always have fun with googly eyes. I love googly eyes. Um, these googly eyes have some stick on them already. If you have ones that don't, just use some of your liquid glue on the back. And then if you want, you could also draw a smiley face, okay? So our frog is gonna be ready to go into our aquarium. now. I've got some other coral cut out. I've got some water grass as well. And remember, we've still got two more fishies. Now, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start to put in our different pieces, all right? So we're gonna start to build this. And we're gonna put some parts on the front, okay? We'll start with the one on the top, and then we'll put the one on the bottom last. So I just drew some waves um, that could cover up these parts of our snack box because we want it to look like water. So I'm gonna take that, put it on the top, okay? And then we can decide where all the other things go. Now, we wanna go ahead and put in our coral and we want it to maybe stand up straight. What we can do is fold back the end and we'll put a little glue right on the end and then we can put that and glue it, we'll glue it over here, to the bottom of our box, okay? So you'll see it will stand up when we lift it up. You'll get a good close up once we're done. All right, then we've got our water grass. So I just cut out some little um, blades of grass and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold some of these over, put some glue on the bottom and we're gonna glue them right to the bottom of our box, okay? And you could glue some if you really wanted to against the back, but I like the idea of them being 3D and standing up. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right here, and then we'll put maybe one more in. All right, and then we're gonna glue in our, boop, okay? So you can see we've got our grass there. Now, let's talk about this fishy. I want this fishy to hang from the ceiling. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a piece of blue construction paper and we're gonna cut just a little piece, okay? And this is what is gonna help us have it hang from the ceiling. 
We're going to do the same accordion fold like we did on our frog. And it doesn't have to be completely even, right? Just want it to be springy. Just like that, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to glue our fish to one end. Okay, so we put a little bit of glue right there. And we're going to put that on our fish, just like that. Okay, and we want to let that, let's hold it there for a second. We can wipe away any excess glue because we really want it to stick. Okay, and then, so it hangs from the ceiling. We're going to add some glue on the end here. And we're going to put it on the ceiling. So we're going to actually glue it right here to the ceiling. And you want to make sure that you're not going to cover up any of your other fish. And you want to hold it in place until that glue is tacky enough for it to stick on its own because we don't want it to fall, right? All right, so you can see when we stand them up, it's going to be hanging just like that. All right, now we've got a few last minute steps. Let's go ahead and put our frog in. So our frog is going to be 3D. We're going to put some glue right on the back here. And we're going to glue our frog to the bottom right here, okay? And he kind of pops up because we're just gluing down that bottom part. And then we're going to glue in our bottom waves. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue right along here. We'll put our waves, and we don't want our waves to be too, too big so that it doesn't hide some of our things. And maybe, look, we could even have a froggy leg popping out. Okay, and then we've got one more fishy. So let's do this. Let's take our gold marker. Let's add a little eye on our fishy. Maybe a little, little fin there, and we can add some accents on the tail. And then we're going to glue our fishy right on the inside of our wave here. So it also looks like it's popping out of the aquarium and it gives us another dimension. We'll put a tad bit of glue right there and we're going to glue it like it's swimming up. All right, now last step before we stand it up and you get to see the finished aquarium. Maybe you have some glitter glue. This is a fun little bonus. Take your glitter glue and you can add accents. So maybe we want to add accents to our waves at the top. We can add some blue glitter glue at the bottom. You could even do some bubbles in the back. You could add some additional waves with glitter glue. This is just a bonus, right? So if you've got it, you can have some extra fun, but you don't need it. Okay. Are y'all ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! Check it out! cute is this? I love it. See our fish? Our fish is just swimming along in the middle of the aquarium. Well, we've got our little froggy who's popped up right there. Now you can have so much more fun with this. You can add other sea creatures. Maybe you put a little crab in there. Who knows? Maybe it's a horseshoe crab. Maybe you have seashells in your aquarium. The possibilities are endless. You all can get as creative as you want. Check it out, I've got another one over here as well. So we've got two pairs. This could be a fun family craft. Maybe everyone in the family gets to make their own aquarium. All right, that's it for today's craft. Friends, don't forget, you can always follow me at Craftbox Girls and at Craftbox Kids for more family-friendly crafts for the whole family. And don't forget that you can head over to Crayola.com slash crafts for more project ideas, and they've got some great free printable coloring sheets as well. I love doing this with my girls. All right, I'll be back again in just a few weeks with more fun crafts for the whole family. Bye, friends.